Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Sun Moon. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we rematched the Elite Four and defended our title against How. Today, we're going to go ahead and go after a legendary Pokemon. So, I hope you guys are excited for that. We're going to go ahead and make our way to the Altar of the Moon, located in Pony Island. You guys can also see that I've gone ahead and brought Batman along. So, you do need your legendary in order to find this other legendary. So, we have our Lunala just to accompany us on this adventure and then we also have wally who just wanted to go out for a ride you know you can't keep a speedster locked up with that though let's go ahead and make our way back inside and now here we are yet again at the altar of the moon now the last time we were here there was a whole lot going on there was a ton going on we made our way to another dimension we did our thing we met some legendaries we battled some strong trainers so this time around Let's hope that things can go a little bit easier for us. You know, maybe our Pokemon can relax. Maybe our Pokemon can take a step back and just enjoy the view. We are officially at the top. And as you guys can tell, there's a distortion to another world. Will we go there? And yes, we will indeed. We are now at the altar of the sun. So as you guys can tell, it is now nighttime. So it pretty much just flipped the time cycle and it just flipped around the day and nighttime, which is pretty cool. And this will allow us to find the legendary Pokemon that we are looking for. So let's go ahead and make our way to the Lake of the Moon, which is where we will be finding this legendary. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for all of your tips and your comments. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a big like. It was great to hear from you guys what type of gym leaders you would be. What I would give to be able to battle your guys' gyms. That would be such a blast if we could somehow go through a region and you guys could be the gym leaders and I could battle you. That would be an absolute blast because I feel like a lot of you guys would make for some really great gym leaders and for some good Elite Four. You never know. It would be quite the challenge and I think it would be an absolute blast. It's always a lot of fun battling friends and imagine if you had some friends that were just, you know, gym leaders, Elite Fours, just people who you could train with. It must be a lot of fun. With that though, let's go ahead and make our way a little bit deeper inside and let's see what we can find here. It's very, very creepy as you can tell. There's fog all over the place. There definitely has to be something going on here. Lunala suddenly cried toward the sky. Another Pokemon appeared from somewhere. It's Cosmog! So with that, ladies and gentlemen, the legendary Pokemon we've been looking for is our little Cosmog here. So we will take Cosmog with us. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we received Cosmog. So if you guys want to get yourselves a Cosmog, if you want to train up, get yourself another legendary, this is how you come here and get this little Cosmog. So with that, we're going to go ahead and register Cosmog into our Pokedex. And it feels good to have this Pokemon on our team as well so cosmog is psychic in ages past it was called the child of stars it's said to be a pokemon from another world but no specific details are known so with that let's go ahead and give cosmog a nickname and we're gonna go ahead and nickname this cosmog what we had nicknamed the other little cosmog so we're gonna call it nebby because now we have our own little nebby as well so i'd like you guys to welcome nebby to the team we're gonna go ahead and send it to the pc but with that, ladies and gentlemen, we've gone ahead and caught Cosmog. So that is a very, very cool thing. I never expected us to be able to come back here and find Cosmog. It's pretty different than other games to be able to find a legendary just chilling here. Especially a legendary that's such a main part of the story that can eventually evolve into a very, very strong Pokemon. I think they did a great thing with these legendaries this time around. I think Cosmog, Lunala, Solgaleo are all fantastic. I also thought it was really cool that we could see Solgaleo there. So maybe the same is happening in another dimension elsewhere. Maybe Solgaleo is calling out to a Lunala in search of a Cosmog. You never know. That's pretty much how it could be going here. As you guys can tell, we were back at Aether Paradise for one more thing that we need to do. 
So you came. I guess I've got to thank you again for all you've done for my family. Especially for Lily. I never knew she could smile like that. My mother's desires to reach an hell ego and what she did in order to achieve that goal. I know she was completely out of control. But that doesn't mean I can't understand it. It was my father who started it. He was the one who first confirmed the existence of Ultra Wormholes and Ultra Beasts. But my father, he disappeared during an experiment trying to connect to an Ultra Wormhole. All that he left behind was a weakened Cosmog and his papers about an hell ego. Lucimine's obsession with Ultra Wormholes and her obsession with the Ultra Beasts, I think was all basically her way of trying to reach him again. That's what I had to believe to get through it. It's not an apology or anything, but I hope you'll take this fellow. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we received Type Null. So we are not only getting Nebby this time around, we are also going to be getting Type Null. So with that, Type Null's data will be added to the Pokedex. You guys can already see Silvali is right up ahead. So we are very close to having a Silvali ourselves. We'll need to increase... Our type Null's happiness. With that, we got the synthetic Pokemon. Due to the danger that the synthetic Pokemon may go on a rampage, it wears a control mask. We're going to go ahead and give it a nickname. And you guys know that I'm a big fan of Harry Potter. And really thinking about this game and the story we've been through, there was one character that I feel really clicked with this game as well. So we're going to go ahead and call it, after a character in Harry Potter, we're going to call our type Null Buckbeak. So after that, Buckbeak will be transferred to the PC, and i really like you guys to welcome our own little type null. Buckbeak was Harry Potter's hippogriff friend. You know, he flew on him, he flew around, he did his thing. The hippogriff was amazing, it always helped him out, and I thought it would be very, very fitting to name it after that. So we received a whole stack of memory drives. This is a different type null, not the same one that I ran away with. It was kept in secret lab A, its very existence was a secret. But I think I know you well enough, I think I can trust you to show it the world. Hmm. Maybe it's time I see a bit more of the world myself. It's starting with that Pokemon League, I think. I hear that Alola's got a real strong champion. I hear that Alola does too, my friend. We'll be hoping to see you very, very soon at the Pokemon League. Maybe we can defend our title. Maybe you'll just get there, Gladion. Maybe you will. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we are done here at Aether Paradise. And it looks like we got the two Pokemon that we were looking for today. Thank you guys so much for all your tips. It really does help me out a lot when you guys tell me which Pokemon we should find. And it really did help here with Cosmog and Type Null. Next time, we will continue on with the post game. As I've been telling you guys, we are very close to wrapping everything up. We can still catch a couple more legendaries around here in the Alola region. So we'll definitely be doing that as well as taking on any of the challengers that go after our championship. We are not going to let go of that crown so easily. So we'll be accepting any challenges that pop up here and there. And I'm excited to see who the challengers are going to be. You guys saw that Gladion is getting prepared as well to make his way to the Pokemon League. So it could even be Gladion, which would be a very, very good rematch. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue from here. Let me just go ahead and check out our box really quick. I just want to make sure that our Pokemon are nice and healthy and we'll be good to continue on. So as you guys can see, I have all of our Pokemon here. Every single Pokemon we've got, even the Ultra Beast. So Nebby is 5 and Type Null is level 40. That's okay. It looks like if we want to use Type Null, we'll have to do a little bit of training. So leave me some tips and comments if you want to see Type Null. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a big like. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Alola!